What are the new advances in helping dry eyes? Welcome to Dr. Shiner's Medical Minute. Today we're going to talk about new advances in helping people suffering from dry eyes. The eyes undergo changes as we age. One area involves our tears. Our tears are complex. They are made of three layers. The first layer is the mucus layer and this allows the tears to stick to the surface of the eyes. The second layer is the aqueous or liquid layer. This is the layer that bathes our eyes in moisture. The third layer is the meibomian oil layer. This layer prevents the tears from evaporating too quickly. As we age, there can be problems in these individual layers. First, as we age, the tear glands in our eyes become less productive. This is especially true in women after menopause. The shift of female hormones results in inflammation in many glands in the body, including the tear glands. These inflamed tear glands don't produce as much lubrication, resulting in a paucity of aqueous or liquid layer. The meibomian oil layer is also affected with aging. The eyelid and face can develop dilated blood vessels. Especially in rosacea, these dilated vessels can affect the production of oil from the oil glands in our lids. This lack of oil on the surface of the tears means that the tear film breaks down too quickly. And the surface of the eye is covered in nerve endings, and these are covered by surface cells. As long as those nerves are covered, there's no symptoms of irritation. But when dry eye hits from either meibomian gland disease or lack of aqueous tears, these surface cells fall off, exposing the underlying nerves. And these underlying nerves fire, and we interpret that as eye irritation and pain. Thankfully, there are ways to help people suffering from these two common causes of dry eye. First, for the dilated blood vessels on the eyes, it is possible to close those abnormal blood vessels with a special application of BBL, or broad-based light. These BBL treatments, when applied with a special connector right on the eyelid margin, close these abnormal vessels and allow the oil glands to flow freely again. Take a look at these two photos of the eyelid margin in a patient. One side had the BBL treatment and the other did not. Notice the increase in dilated vessels on the untreated side. Now take a look at the staining of the surface of the eye in this same patient. Notice the increased staining indicating increased dry eye and nerve exposure on the eye that didn't have the BBL treatment. The second factor affecting dry eye with age involves the aqueous deficiency from the inflamed tear gland. Although the tear gland is a great source of natural tears, it's possible to generate a substitute similar to the tears from our own body using blood drawn from our own veins. This blood is placed in a centrifuge in a special test tube that pushes down the red blood cells and allows the liquid plasma and platelets to come through. This is then sent to a special compounding pharmacist lab with a sterile hood where they mix this platelet-rich plasma with saline and create a 45-day supply of tears for patients. These PRP tears are nutrient-rich with vitamin K and epidermal and neurotrophic growth factors which, when placed on the eye, soothe them and help heal the surface. These two treatments together are great new advances in helping the many people who have dry eye symptoms. I hope you found this interesting, and I invite you to come back and watch again for our next Medical Minute. Goodbye for now, and I wish each of you a beautiful day.